Hello YouTube. So today I'm doing my overview review, uh, whatever review, of a game called Work Work. So this game only came out in Japan and it's available now on the play PlayStation Switch, Nintendo Switch. Yes. Um, I feel like this game didn't get a lot of attention uh, when it came out. But I did see some gameplay before I got it and I felt like it would be interesting to play. But yeah, let me talk about the game. Let me show you guys some footage. So basically, this game was created by lots of famous people. Uh, people who worked on The Mother 3, Legend of Mana, Fantasy Life, Professor Layton, Live Alive, uh, Magical Vacation, also from Megami Tensei series, Kaliula, Dungeon Explorer, uh, Homeland, and this game is developed by Fudu. Now, Fudu is like a hit and miss company. I played lots of games from them, and some were okay, some were bad, some were good, but not all of them are good, definitely. So, I had my doubts when I got this game. But I did get it since, you know, all those people are pretty famous. I haven't finished it, of course. The first thing I noticed about this game is the graphics. It's pretty cute, but it's pretty simple. So if you're waiting to see or if you're expecting to see something really oh, nice looking and uh, high-end graphics or whatever you want to call it, you're not getting that here. It's pretty simple sprite work and like the background doesn't really move. Uh, your characters look like a mix of like cubes and 2D and drawing. And I don't know if I'm explaining myself, but you can see it on the gameplay footage. So yeah, anyways, you start off and you are a worker at this amusement park. You have to take these people on like a adventure where they can be the hero and they can beat up monsters. Now these monsters work there too, so they're not really monsters. You're not killing them, you're just letting them have fun and feel like a hero. So you, you're working there, but one day you end up breaking a vase that's like really really expensive. So to pay off the debt, they make you work like full time all day, all night, you know. You become basically a slave to the company. Now there are lots of characters that join your party and sometimes they'll ask you to take them on a quest, which are the subquests. In these subquests, you can only choose a couple of characters you want and you have to take uh, some characters that are predetermined so you can't take them out of the party. So the story is quite simple. You meet this prince that's trying to prove himself. He's there to defeat the demon lord, but he like it's almost like he doesn't realize that this is all made up. So he's there trying to beat everybody up very, very seriously and he believes he can be the hero there. Um, and this, when they start talking, you can tell that they're very comedic, uh, they say some funny stuff, sometimes it's just slapstick comedy, but I feel like this type of comedy is not going to work with everyone. I feel like some people may hate it because it might feel like really dumb or very exaggerated or overacted. In my case, I don't have a problem with it, but I did read other people's reviews saying that it was just not funny, it was just dumb. But they do have some dark comedy thrown in there sometimes, and that was kind of surprising. But this is all in Japanese, so I don't know if they'll ever translate it or localize it. But at least in the Japanese version, it could be funny really funny or it could be like stupid. <laughs> so yeah, keep that in mind if you understand Japanese and you want to play this game. Now on to the gameplay. So basically, like I said, you go on to the quest to take your customers to a adventure. So you really don't move around anywhere. You have a map which is a hub and you just click or you just choose where you want to go, whether to the store, to the beach, to the dungeons, to the, you know. When you go into the dungeon, you have to pick your team. Depending on if it's a main quest or a sub quest, you might not be able to take everybody you want, but you can choose up to four people and each of them have a desired role. So there is hero, which is the attacker. You also have a tank, which can take more damage. 
you also have a magician or mage which attacks from far away but can't take that much damage and also a healer there's a fifth job that says balanced so you can choose any job for this character in particular and it won't affect that much you can do whatever you want with it now when you start your quest um, you start off in a place almost that looks like a table game tabletop game so you just move one space at a time and if there is an enemy there you'll start your combat now the combat is pretty simple it's almost like a cell phone smartphone game mobile game you really don't do anything everything is done automatically your characters will attack on their own they'll heal on their own if they I guess if they feel like they need to heal someone or their, themselves and they'll use special attacks on their own the thing they can't do though is they can't use items you as a leader have to choose what you want to do whether you want to use items you want to tell a particular member what to do like attack or heal someone in particular and you can also choose a specific strategy for example you can choose um, all of the party members to attack just one character or you can conserve all magic so this type of thing is present in some of the RPGs so you do have a cooldown time for the leader so you can't like use an item and use another item and you know keep doing whatever you want you have to wait uh, the good thing is you can fast forward all this you just choose what you want to do and you fast forward up to three times the regular speed so everything is almost like done automatically that's why I say it's almost like a cell phone game or a mobile game and it's not bad the only issue I have with this type of game is that it gets repetitive very fast since you really aren't doing much you're just telling them what to do every now and then and as long as you pay attention to their HP they probably won't die even if they die you can also take items that you buy at the store inside of the amusement park that you can use on the characters so yeah you can take I don't know revive revive item you can take a potion you can take helpers which you can find and I'll tell you guys how in the dungeon and yeah that's about it so every time you defeat an enemy they'll sometimes drop an item they'll either drop a weapon that you can buy later on at the weapon shop and they also drop their own replicas that you can decorate your room with that you will get eventually and you also can get a rare replica so these rare replicas you take to this uh, one of the shops inside of the amusement park and when you take it to them they'll start selling a capsule version of that monster which you can use in battle that you use to um, summon them so they become like a fifth party member for a limited amount of time and yeah they disappear after that set amount of time and also they'll drop um, what do you call it furnitures that you can furnish your room with so depending on what you get if you already have more than one of whatever you got you give it to the party members so when you give something to the party members you'll see like hearts coming out of them and they have they you start off with one level one and it goes up you know and every time it goes up sometimes you'll see trigger an event with them or you'll trigger a sub quest with them so it's important to make them happy and have like a higher connection with them and also depending on how well you did when you get to the end you will receive uh, money of course that you can use to buy weapons items and stuff with and other than that you also get uh, points that you will use well it's automatically done but you'll level up as an instructor so every time you level up you can take more items in the quest or you'll have less cooldown time and so on so it's basically that uh, the music is fine the graphic is fine the only issue I have like I said it's it's repetitive um, you only do the same thing over and over and sometimes it does get hard you, if you don't pay attention you lose but if you pay attention and you figure out um, like what you need to do in every battle you really don't have much else going on you just wait 
and see if they're too damaged. You just cure them, you just tell them to attack that one, and that's it. The end. I feel like this game is enjoyable if you find it charm charming. Uh, the sense of humor, the characters, the design. If you find this game charming, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you're expecting to enjoy for its enjoy it for its gameplay, I don't think it's a good game for you. In my case, I played it over 20 hours, and I believe it's a very long game. It's gonna be a long game. That's why I decided to talk about it now because I feel like I'll never finish it. And I started playing Breath of the Wild, and I got distracted. So yeah. If you find it charming, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I enjoy it because I find some of the characters really funny. So there's this one character which is an otter, and he's really cute, but he said he swears he's not an otter. So everybody makes fun of him and he feels bad, but at the end he gets all excited because they start talking about shells. So it's like is he or is he not an otter? And nobody ever says anything, so I don't know what he is, but it's those type of like humorous moments or characters that makes this game funny. But if you don't understand Japanese or if you're not into these kind of like humors or characters, you won't enjoy this game for the gameplay, I think. So yeah, that was my overview of Work Work. I hope this helps you in understanding what the game was about. I haven't finished it yet, so if my opinion changes for some reason, I might do another video. But as of now, this is my, this is what I think of the game. Oh, and also, I bought it when it came out, and it was about five thousand yen, or four thousand something yen. So it's not a full price game. It's about forty dollars, forty-five dollars. It's not a sixty-dollar title, which is fair. But I think that if it was thirty dollars, I would have been more happy with it. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great week. Bye bye. So yeah, that's all for now. And thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great week. Bye bye.